guys, so just an update about you know this project of mine of lessening my time on social media and try to read write every day and i'm also refreshing actually my third language which is italian i have decided to do this challenge which i watched on youtube from this youtube account or this booktube account that i um, that I watch too most of the time which is the book Leo and it is to read 50 pages every day and I'm still figuring out which book I want to start next because as you know I was reading the Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami but unfortunately Hindi Hindi Koshama pick up so I feel like I had to um, set it aside and pick up another book and I will decide if I will pick up some or one of the books or one from my previous haul or some books from my bookshelf. I figured out that 50 pages would be a good start for me to get out of my reading slump. A few months ago, I bought Six of Crows and the Kingdom, those two books. They said that it was so good. I haven't heard a bad review that's why I was really excited but unfortunately even though I was a fan of dystopian fantasy sci-fi books back in the days I don't know I feel like I haven't picked it up yet I don't know if it's because of my age now I've matured I don't know uh, maybe my tastes were I don't know are different now but I feel like I would still enjoy it but not for now maybe I'll read it while listening to audiobook but for now I think I'm not gonna pick up a fantasy dystopian book yet so yeah let's see if I can read 50 pages a day and I'll update you about it <laughs> book that I pick up is from the last haul that I did and this is the book Cemetery Boys and I've been hearing a lot of good things about it from BookTok, from BookTube as well and from the reviews. I think this is a debut novel from the author Aiden Thomas and so I wanted to pick this up because I feel like it's gonna be a good read and I heard that this is heartwarming so let's see if I could also have that review after reading this book I'm not like I said in my previous vlog also I'm not the best book reviewer but I do enjoy reading and after reading Red White and Royal Blue I just remember how much I enjoyed reading so much and I just wanted to pick up a lot of more easy to read or maybe more heartwarming books because I used to read a lot of dystopian fantasy even smuts a lot in during college if you watch also my red white and blue uh, reading vlog it's just the time that i learned how to tab how to book tab and annotate actually did not much annotate on the book it's more book tabbing but yes now i have that for the annotation I have this post-its and then i learned i don't know how did i not think of this pero yan ginupit nila yung um, the, the book tab thing so I did that as well para makatipid <laughs> and then I also have the post-it because I was thinking should I write in the book or not but I feel like if it's a hard one like this I feel like not so I just wanted to write anything on the post-it and post it on the book if ever it's a book that I will really keep for a long time then maybe I, or maybe I will read it again then I have to reconsider maybe I can annotate it but for now I will not do that so yeah I have the annot for the annotation this too and of course I have a pen fan but yes I'm gonna pick this up and if you haven't read this then I'll give you a review after the reading vlog or if you have read this book then comment below your thoughts if you have read this book because so far I've seen just good reviews especially in book 2 
Hi guys! So I just wanted to keep or to give a quick update about my reading. <laughs> Finally, I finished Cemetery Boys. As you can see, there's the boot tops and all. This challenge has not really been a challenge to me, except for like days when I'm so tired from work and I'm tired for the day. It's an achievable challenge. Well, maybe some of you would say that my challenge for of reading 50 pages a day is not a lot but for me it's quite a lot considering that yes I have been in a reading slump for a long time and I'm getting back to reading this year like you've seen in the video at first I only read 40 chapters a day and the second day I was so tired I fell asleep and then on the third and fourth day I think it's the third day I read continuously until like more than half of the book I guess I read like more than 100 of pages and I wasn't really counting I just kept on reading because this is an an easy to read book and then yesterday actually it was yeah yesterday I finished the book and it's really a fun light and easy to read like if you want uh, starters for a light fantasy or romance novel then I would really recommend this oh I saw also this video reading a book for an hour a day I don't know if I can do that because I'm usually just the type to just sit down and read and just read if I'm in the mood and also it depends on the book like I said this is a very easy to read book comments on this book it's actually a good read though I was already in the middle of the book right and parang naisip ko na there is nothing much happening for the annotations, by the way, still, I'm kind of like new, right? So I wrote a character so I wouldn't forget because I have this thing to mix up persons and the characters, especially like not the main characters. And then for the tabs, I put the tabs here and like a note 
uh, down below like what's the pink one for what's the blue one for the orange one for the green one for um overall if i would rate i'm not really a good book reviewer but if i'd rate this book i guess it, it's a 3.9 just because yeah like i said i was looking for something when i was in the middle of the book and then when i finish it yeah well i did not actually cry some people i think cried in this book but for me i'm i'm the type of person who like easily cry i did not cry maybe teary eye pero hindi ako umiyak talaga anyway it's a good read and if you want to do the challenge try nyo guys uh it's been it's been a fun thing to do very enjoyable and i think i would do that again or maybe i'll just yeah, I'll just finish a book per week. But I'm so happy to finish another book this week and to 